China is accelerating its naval ambitions with plans to build two 120,000-ton nuclear-powered supercarriers simultaneously in Dalian and Shanghai. This marks a major leap in military capability, as nuclear propulsion provides near-unlimited range, eliminating the need for frequent refueling. One of the carriers is believed to be the long-rumored Type 004, equipped with four electromagnetic catapults that match the launch efficiency of the U.S. Navy, most advanced Ford-class carriers. The new carriers will host a cutting-edge air wing, including J-35 stealth fighters, J-15T aircraft adapted for catapult launch, KJ-600 early warning planes, and potentially a next-generation, fifth-generation fighter. Unmanned combat drones are also expected to become standard, transforming carrier operations. Unlike previous models, these carriers represent more than an upgrade. They signal a strategic shift. The Dalian-built 004 likely uses traditional construction methods, while the 005 in Shanghai may employ a faster, more advanced modular approach. This dual-track development suggests China is testing designs to establish a standardized blueprint for future mass production. With shipbuilding capacity estimated at 230 times that of the United States, China could rapidly scale carrier output once a final design is confirmed. Analysts project the first vessel could launch by 2026 and enter service by 2028. If this timeline holds, China may challenge U.S. naval dominance within a decade. This move is not just about power projection. It reflects a calculated effort to close the gap in carrier technology and operational reach. As the U.S. currently leads with 11 active carriers, China rapid progress signals a new era in global maritime strategy.